Hi, everybody. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Thank you so much for joining us today yet again for another Princess Connects webinar. Connect with Princess. What do we call it? I don't know. I should know what these things, but uh, I haven't had enough coffee today. Where are you from? How's the weather? How's my hair? Let's never forget that. Let's keep it down, though. Puppets still sleeping off. Big night. Um, it is really great to have you. We're going to do a deep dive on some exciting stuff to make you efficient with groups and all that. We're going to get to that in just a minute. Sue from Maumee, Ohio. Uh, love to have you, Sue. Thanks for joining us. Yet again, you are a good follower. Nancy from Spruce Grove, Alberta. I believe that's in Canada, ladies and gentlemen. Know my geography. Shannon from Nebraska. Hello, Shannon from Nebraska. Uh, welcome. Hopefully it's not winter there yet. Uh, Joyce from Fullerton. Pretty sure that's California. Nice to have you with us, Joyce. No comments on the hair yet. That's kind of alarming. Oh, there you go. Thank you, Joyce. Perfect as always. Uh, I was going to rate it a 10 out of 10. I'm a little humble uh, for what's left of my hair anyway. Carrie from Westby, Wisconsin. Uh, nice to have you. Is there an East Bee and a West Bee? I don't know. Never been to Wisconsin. I'm, ash I'm ashamed to admit that. Richard from Johnstown, PA. That is Pennsylvania. Last I checked. Nice to have you with us, Richard. Uh, and we're just going to give a couple minutes as people join in. Rebecca from Laguna Niguel, California. Oh, you poor thing, living in Laguna Niguel. That is a gorgeous spot. Uh, you are very lucky to live down there, Rebecca. I imagine you're on a beautiful mansion on the cliffside overlooking the ocean. Tina from Simi Valley, California. You're also enjoying this lovely weather we're having here in Southern California. Carlin, Carla, sorry, from Dauphin, Manitoba. I'm also pretty sure that's in Canada. Welcome, Carla. Good to have you with us. As you can tell, I got an A in geography in high school. Uh, Stephanie from North Carolina, so good to have you with us. Appreciate you joining. Appreciate everybody joining. And I know time is valuable. And so we want to really give back to you. And that's the reason we created this series of webinars. After our amazing Connect with Princess conference that we held, we decided to do a more regular cadence of webinars. And so this is really your chance. Roll up the sleeves, become a black belt in a certain subject, and uh, that's what we're here to do today, talking about groups in polar. Uh, Jim, my hair is just like you, but silver. <laughs> uh, I love your attitude, Jim. Good on you. Okay, so let us dive in. We'll get the show started here. Hey, as always, let's keep calm. I've got my keep calm, call a travel advisor t-shirt on. Uh, don't worry, I won't pan down any lower than that. Um, and it is true. We are back and we are so excited uh, to be back. But I want to cover, before I bring in the guest speakers, the experts, I want to cover a few updates with you because we are getting a few questions on certain things. I want to make sure it's clear. But please note, uh, as always, we are streaming this to Facebook and to YouTube. For those on Facebook, you have the ability to turn captions on so you can get the closed captioning uh, for those who need a little assistance. And do please stick around. We have some pre-submitted questions that we'll cover at the very end, uh, as well as you go through and you, you see something and you need a little clarity. Go ahead and drop a question in and we'll do our very best to cover that either during the show or at the end. Uh, as always, I'm John Trinesky, very lucky to have traveled the world with Princess, and here's me and some shots of my luck, my lovely family. They are a lucky family, too, uh, and my favorite pet. Other than Murphy, Murphy is my favorite son. No pictures of Murphy here, but I did have a pet sloth for a few moments, which was pretty cool. Now, we have announced not that long ago that we are returning to the high seas. Obviously, Alaska is coming up on July 25th. Uh, Twelve days from now, I'll be stepping foot on board Majestic Princess. Uh, I should probably think about what I'm going to wear that day. Uh, but we've also got openings in California coast, the Caribbean, Mexico, Panama Canal, and Hawaii. These are our sailings for 2021, and all of these have been uh, just announced and confirmed. Uh, clearly, we have voyages on sale in 2022 and 2023, but for the 2021 sailings, I want to thank you for your support, getting your clients finally uh, confirmed a book, and we're ready to ready to go. Um, but I did want to require or remind you all that we are requiring vaccines for these voyages so that there's no confusion. All guests uh, need to be fully vaccinated as well as all crew per CDC guidelines. Um, and you must have your final dose of an approved COVID-19 vaccine 14 days minimum prior to the beginning of the cruise. You will need to have proof of vaccination uh, with you. OK, and so there are different ways that you can prove that you have the vaccine. Bring the vaccination card with you. And I got to be honest with you, bring the original card. I would put this, tuck this in your passport and bring it with you, even if you have what's next on there is a digital certificate. You could, some states allow in the US allow for you to upload and then you get a QR code, which validates that you have it. In Canada, 
you don't have a vaccine card. And so you have to print a form off of your, I forget what the name is. It's a health service group that you have to print off verification. And that's, that's totally acceptable. And so those are the forms uh, that we require. Okay. And so I just want to make sure that is crystal clear. Now we're getting a lot of questions about Medallion class. Um, super excited. We're returning to sea with all ships having Medallion class. And I got ocean ready. My medallion is on its way to me and my family here before we uh, leave home. Unfortunately, we can't do that yet for Canada. So sorry that's a, if that's a sore point for you. Uh, but I did want to cover uh, a couple of updates. And we just today uh, pushed out because so much of the work needs to be done in the Medallion Class app, which is a really amazing app when you think of all that it features and the power of the app for both pre-cruise as well as on board. But we know some of you have had um, some challenges in getting uh, your information uploaded. And the reason is that there's been some fixes that have been planned. And we, we have, well, first of all, I want to say thank you for reporting uh, the issues because we take that information. There's a whole team that is working on updating the app. And that update has gone through today. And so there's a number of updates that have been pushed through to the Medallion Class app as of today. And so you can see here on the screen that we've gone through uh, a very detailed checklist and this is just a highlight of the top ones that are being done uh, that will make it easier for you. Now, some of the issues have to do with you might be using or your client might be using an older device. So maybe an iPhone 6 or I'm not sure what the versions would be for an Android device. But um, we have pushed through some optimizations to make those folks uh, make it uh, a little bit easier to use the app, actually functional in using the app. And so um, we are asking that you know please be patient with us and and again thanks for the feedback that you've given us because that's what we work from to make the fixes um dine my way has been optimized as well for those that may have had challenges um in going in and making that reservation or maybe it said you haven't fully paid when in fact you had and you were eligible and so some of those now have been updated so i would just ask you to go back in make sure you're using um you know most folks have uh the app update automatically done. And if you don't do that, if you have to force the update, then go in and make sure your, your app has been updated uh, to the latest version. What is the latest version? I should know that. I don't know the numbers of that. Maybe we'll get that later. But um, it, just make sure your settings are for auto update on your, on your app or go through and manually do it if that's what you want to do. Uh, but this will make it a lot easier. We have another update that's planned in about, uh, I think it's by the end of the month, let's say, that it'll be done. And so that is some other issues that we are working on. You know, as with any tech, it evolves and it gets better over time. And we are learning and growing every day. And our team is amazing on how quickly they're responding to this uh, because of the complexities of the app. And so uh, I personally didn't have any problems getting Ocean ready. And so it was easy for me. But I'm waiting today. I'm actually going to wait till tomorrow to go through and do my Dine My Way reservation. So just know that we are focused uh, on that. So I just want to say thanks to the team behind the scenes at our uh, GXI uh, group in Miami. Uh, okay, now let's get on to the show. We're going to start uh, today to talk about the power, this is why you're here, the power of Polar Online in booking and managing groups. And I think this is going to be pretty interesting for you guys. And we want to do a survey uh, right now. So in Facebook, I don't think it's in YouTube, but definitely in Facebook, uh, we have a survey that is shown. We want to measure your expertise. What is your knowledge of this subject? Are you a black belt and just here because you're bored or are you here because you're trying to learn something? Uh, so we'll find out uh, the results in just a second. Um, and in a moment, I'm going to bring in, uh, let's do it right now. Actually, while this, while you guys are filling out the survey, let's bring in the true experts because the last thing you'd want to hear is a webinar on power or polar online and groups with me leading it. You don't want to hear that. So first I want to bring in Dana McCullough. Dana, hi, welcome. Good morning. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for being here, Dana. Of course, Dana uh, is based up in Northern California uh, and is such an amazing part of our team. It's really good to have you. And there's a picture of you in there, Dana. Well, there's a few pictures of you in there. That's your husband, I think, on the bottom right with the big ears. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then you've got, of course, Selena, uh, who you are situated with there in the middle. I'm not sure who that is under the umbrella, but let's bring in Selena. Not Selena's first time to the show. Selena is a repeat presenter. Hi, Selena, welcome back. Hello, hello. Great to have you with us. Uh, there's pretty much alcohol in every photograph I'm seeing. <laughs> I'm noticing a trend. How funny. Look behind me. I'm in Bellinis. 
<laughs> oh, what do you know? What do you know? Um, so with that, I'm going to be here. I'm going to help uh, maybe uh, answer some stupid or ask some stupid questions. And then if we get some uh, other questions that I can help answer, we will do that. But uh, let's get on with the show, shall we? Wonderful. So thank you, everyone, for joining us. Um, Selena and I are going to be discussing, uh, as you can tell, groups, groups, and more groups. Um, near and dear to my heart as a former travel agent, always, always block your group space. Next slide, please, John. Yep. So just a couple of things here uh, to review. Um, group amenities from the first booking. This is one I really want to point out. Uh, I know when I was an agent, I would think, well, I don't have five cabins. I don't have six cabins. I'm not going to take a group because I won't get the amenities. With Princess, you get the amenities going back to booking one. So let's say you have three couples that decide to travel together and you take out group space and you think I'm going to promote this to some of my other clients. And it just turns out you have those three cabins. They still get those amenities. So really, really take out those groups. And I always advise my, my travel agents, take the groups out the minute the program is released so that you actually get your group space. You don't want to wait and then not be able to get it. So also when you're blocking your groups, the default is for Princess Plus, which is the amenities where you have the crew incentive, the beverage program and the um, medallion net, the Wi-Fi. So you can do um, some people in Saver if they want to do that and have that added to your group, but the default is for Princess Plus. So you definitely want to book it that way too. That way you get all the amenities for your clients. We also have a group shore excursion program, uh, which is something that your BDM can go into more details with you. It is a wonderful program. I've had some of my travel advisors use it and the, uh, the comments on it have been amazing. There was a gentleman who wanted to take his whole family to a little village in Italy where he was from and we were actually able to do that on a personalized excursion. So it's it's something you definitely want to think about. And hey, the Dana, group, let me yeah. just stop you real quick for just a second. First of, of all, I think that point you've made about group amenities to the first booking is so powerful because you don't have to worry about, oh, well, I didn't fill my group and so I got to take it away. It's there from that first booking. So that's really great. Uh, yeah. And you, you know, it's so important to open your group space, like you said, and especially as we are announcing new voyages, we just announced uh, 23 right for Europe, that you should be taking out those groups now. Um, right. I want to show the results of the survey if we can. Joe, if you have it ready. Yep, here is the poll results to show what you all, 8% are genius. So that is awesome that 8% of you still think you're the expert. We'll see about that. And yet you're still here because you can always learn more. 39% solid grasp, 42% basic, 12% this guy, deer in the headlights. Absolutely. <laughs> Well, okay. we want everybody to know as much as they possibly can. Yeah. So another thing to also mention too is the group rates do combine with most of our limited time offers. So that's something really good to know as well. Yep. Next, please, John. Yep. And this is something that um, when I was an agent, I would say, well, how do I go about getting a group? I, I'm just a little clueless on how I do that. So I always say, start with your own interests. For example, if you belong to, if you go to yoga, Talk to your yoga instructor. If you go to Pilates, if you're part of a book club, if you're into a quilting group, all of these things that you have an interest in, start there. Um, you can see here are some examples. Family reunions is huge, especially now with the lockdown and everybody being kind of stuck in their house. Everybody wants to see their family. I waited a year and a half to see my 100-year-old uncle, and I got a five-minute hug when I finally did. <laughs> so that's something that you really want to think about. Family reunions, get together with people you haven't seen. Um, people are foodies. If people are really into food, that's another way to get a group. Weddings um, also, health and wellness group, athletic organizations. So these are all wonderful ideas to go ahead and go after a group. But I always say start with your own interests uh, and go from there. Next, please. And then just a reminder where to get into the group information on one source. You can see there under the sales and marketing tab, you have group sales on there to the far right, where you will be able to find the uh, overview of the amenity options, the group shore excursion information that I mentioned, and also how to go ahead and set those up. Next, please, John. Another place to find wonderful information is our time-saving tips. I use this a lot myself. There are a lot of how-to videos in there, how to do things on one source, how to book your group in a couple of easy steps. Always check time-saving tips. I call them over-the-shoulder videos where it's almost like someone is standing behind you and they're showing the computer screen and walking you through the process. That's how I learn. So they're, they're really wonderful that Princess has put together uh, on there. 
always check that out. Next, please. And now I'm gonna turn it over to Selena, who's gonna talk about one source in the Travel Advisor Center and also go live on Polar. So Selena. Okay, well, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna talk about our fantastic booking engine. It's very, very intuitive. Um, I know sometimes new um, booking engines or just new websites in general technology can be um, hard to, to tackle at first, but I we don't want you to feel like that. It's not scary. Make sure you go onto onesourcecruises.com or travel advisor website, log in there, bring up a booking you already maybe have made, play around and look and see all of the different fantastic features and uh, manage ways to manage your bookings and then now groups as well as other things. So um, we'll go ahead and go to the next slide and just make sure everyone knows how to get there. So again, it's onesourcecruises.com. Thank you, Joyce. Um, onesourcecruises.com is our travel advisor site. Up in the top right-hand corner, you'll see that big green button that says book and manage cruises. All you gotta do is you click there and then you'll get a, a, a screen that will open, a new screen that will pop up. So make sure, make sure your pop-up blockers are turned off when you are on um, onesourcecruises.com so that, um, thank you, Carl, so that you have um, an easy access into the booking system. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take you live and uh -oh. um, I'm going to dive in <laughs> to teach John one or two things, hopefully, and um, some of you. So we'll go ahead and we'll just start from the top. So this is the landing page. After you click in the, on that green button, this will be the new screen that will pop up for you. Um, you can switch back and forth to Princess Cruises or Cunard, but we want to go ahead and stick um, with Princess for this demonstration, and we want to go ahead and look below at all of these different menu options. So the very top, um, we have Create a Booking, Manage a Booking, which I have done overviews on. Um, so if you haven't watched those videos, please make sure to check them out. The links are available for those trainings on onesourcecruises.com. Today, we're going to focus on groups, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start with Create a Group. If at any point you get you stumble or you're not sure of something, don't forget to click to chat. We have chat representatives that are online waiting to assist you and make your um, transactions on Polar Online as simple as possible. And so we'll go ahead and get started with creating your group. Um, I always like to start at the top just to make sure to point things out to you that maybe you've missed in the past. Um, I wanna point out this help link right there that'll take you to a glossary of sorts that'll bring up lots of different helpful um, hints, tips um, to maybe help you along with the process. Again, click to chat always stays there for you. Um, it'll show underneath this header agency information. It'll show your agency information because after all, you are the person logged in to one source. Um, then below that, you can create a group by date and ship, or you can create it by voyage number. So if you happen to already have the voyage number, you can just enter it right here um, select whether you want a cruise tour or not. Um, if you would like to look at our Alaska um, cruise tour reference guide and availability chart, you can click this link, a new window will open and you could look at the availability. Um, I also wanna remind you that we do have um, Europe cruise tours. We have cruise tours in Australia and South America, et cetera. Canada, New England. So, um, but yes, we do have a reference sheet that you can access right here um, for Alaska. So going over to the left, we'll go ahead and we'll start um, creating our group. Um, so I'm going to start with a sale date. So you just pick at any date. So let's say, um, let's say you already know what your, what the group um, voyage will be um, and the sailing date would be, but let's say I don't. So I'm just going to look to see what's um, sailing in November. Um, my clients want to sail in the beginning of November. So I'm going to put November 1st, 2022. And I know that they want to go on the Caribbean Princess. So we have drop down and all of our ships are listed here for you. Um, I'm not going to add on a cruise tour. And I'm just going to go ahead and click this button right here, submit. Another tip, make sure to always scroll up and down your screen to make sure you see the full view. Because at the bottom of your screen, you'll, you'll see as I go that there's menu and button options that you can click on. But then also towards the top. Okay, so scroll up and down. Or make sure your window's maximum, um, opened all the way. Okay, 
So now the next step, um, group allotment selection. So this here is the screen where you're going to select the number of births or beds that you're going to hold in your cabin or your group, I'm sorry. So the group name, um, now you can name it whatever you like. Um, I know a lot of travel um, agencies um, just leave it as your agency name, that's the default. So um, you're logged in under your agency, so your agency name will automatically be there, but you can update it to personalize and customize it to your own. Um, let's say you're um, Joyce and you're in there and you want to make sure everybody at your agency knows it's your group, then you can put Joyce's group. Um, if you want to go ahead and put something more specific, let's say you're doing it for some sort of club, um, you can go ahead and do that too. So I'm just going to rename it. Uh-oh. <laughs> yes. So John loves cool things. We're going to go ahead and create him a group for his I'm club. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so scrolling down, you can look number of births selected. It's going to say zero because I haven't picked anything yet or any of the cabins below. Then it'll show you the amenity points on this specific voyage, there's four. Um, and then there's these handy dandy orange circles. Either it'll be a question mark or a magnifying glass. You can click on those and a new little pop-up um, window will show. And um, in this case, next to this amenity um, point list, there's a list there that you can see the different things that you can get with four amenity points. Um, so back over to the left, it'll show your name because you're the person logged in. It's not gonna have a group number listed here yet because you're not done yet creating your groups nothing has been finalized now in terms of nights um, there's 10 nights on this particular voyage and on um, the currency you can change it so it could either be um, in US dollars or um, Canadian dollars I'm gonna leave it in US dollars below that um, there is not me by the way I have to do with this background me either <laughs> <laughs> My husband's in so much trouble. <laughs> inventory. So for inventory, this is where you'll go to select um, the cabins that you want to put um, in your group. So to list the different um, categories that we have, you always want to make sure that you're selecting an even number of, of births. So for example, if you're going to hold um, the minimum number of um beds um, or cabins in your um, group, it would be 10 births or five cabins, okay? So a minimum if, or maximum? Um, minimum, just to create a group, you have to yeah. at least hold 10 births. Okay. You can hold, um, for most agencies or for some agencies, you can hold up to 16 births or beds, eight or eight cabins um, in your group and no bulk deposit would be due. If you hold more than 16 beds or eight cabins, you would have to put a bulk deposit down. Um, the bulk deposit is $25 per, per bed. Um, but again, if you um, don't want to pay that or if you're just holding spec space, um, et cetera, you can just hold up to 16 without having to pay that um, bulk deposit. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna and while you're doing that, Selena, I want to um, just call out again the handy dandy. I love that. The little circles that you call the orange circles. Those are so helpful as you're going through here. So you're not having to back out and look it up in a different area. So definitely, definitely when you see those, if you have a question, just go ahead and bring that up. That was really helpful to me when I was booking groups in Polar. Okay. And you know, Dana, actually, you made me remember, I didn't point this out. Up at the top next to this um, orange circle, you'll mm -hmm. see the product line. Um, where it'll be the date, because I put in November 1st, right here it'll show you what you're actually booking. If you don't know how to read this, don't don't worry. You can click on this question mark and it'll tell you exactly what all these codes mean. So I put in November 1st, um, but as you can see here, the date that I'm booking is November 3rd, 10 days. T we use for Panama Canal on the Caribbean Princess, and then it'll show you the embarkation and disembarkation ports. In this case, it's round trip Fort Lauderdale. And the first code right here, B240, that's the voyage number. I think it makes total sense that we use T for Panama Canal because there are so many T's in the words Panama Canal. Yeah. I never understood that. <laughs> But going to the going to the handy dandy little mm -hmm. circle there, you can not tell you that. Yeah. Now Diane has a great question. Only mm -hmm. five cabins needed. Um, yes, just to start your group. So let's yep. say, I, you know, it's so interesting. I talk to a lot of travel advisors and they, they feel bad holding group space because they don't know if they're going to be able to fill it. They're only booking one booking at that time. And I tell them, we have recall dates. We take back yep. the space when we need them. We plan for groups. So don't feel bad. Hold your space. When you book one booking, one set of, one couple, 
um, they I'm sure know friends or family members that want to join them. So block your group space because as you get closer to sailing, group space goes away or amenity points, the number starts to go down yeah. as you get closer to those sailing. So block your space right away, even if you only have that one booking. What was the question that was just put up there that we took away? Oh, Cynthia is asking, in a group booking, can we add a category after the group is established? You can, yes. I'll show you that in just a bit. Great. Good question, Cynthia. Good question. Okay, so we'll go ahead and I move forward. I clicked save and continue and I advance. So now what you'll see is again, the product lines at the top, this is what I'm booking. Um, you can still update the group name if needed. It'll now show you a group number. So next to where it says group, you'll see TN6. That is your group number. When, um, if you, when you look at anything or if you're gonna later go back and pull up your group and um, you'll need to know your group number, TN6. And then you'll also sometimes need to reference your voyage number, which is this first um, code right here, B240. Okay, so I, you can still update the currency if needed, if you forgot to do that. Oh, it updated when I was doing it, okay, sorry. Okay, so I'm gonna save and continue to move forward. And now what I can do, what is happening? So then now what you can do is, I'm so sorry, it says my agency groups have been exceeded, which isn't. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's what you do. Okay, you, you pick your number of births and then you would hit save and continue. The next page that you get to is what I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to go back to my main menu. I'm going to view my group list. I'm going to go to John's sewing group. <laughs> so many interests that nobody knew about. <laughs> right? sewing. What else is out there? I'm so sorry. So, um, so here, you um, what you can do is you can sort your list. If you have lots and lots of um, groups under your agency, you can sort it. Let's say if you want to look just at the groups that you have for um, Hawaii, just Mexico, etc. You can sort it, select that specific destination, click sort, and then your um, your group list will be updated. Okay. I had selected um, John's sewing group. So after you click save and continue where I just got stumped, um, this is the page that you would be landing on. Okay. So after you hit save and continue, after you um, select your allotment, this is where you'll be taken. Um, at the top, you'll see the um, group number, the group name, the product, what you've actually booked. You can print this in a um, friendly format if you need to. Um, and then below that, you'll see just all your group details, the voyage number, group number, how long the um, cruises that you're looking at or your group is, um, your name, currency, um, agency, single office, cross-reference cross booking. If you need to know what that is, don't forget those handy dandy circles. Um, when the group is open, whether it's multi-agency or not, it's finalized. Finalization happens, um, I believe, when um, around final payment date. Um, and then here to um, to the right, you'll see where it says amenities. So in this group, I've already selected amenities, but I'll go in and show you how to modify this. Um, cocktail party, I didn't select that. So let's say I want to go back in and change that and add one. I can do that by clicking modify. I need a cocktail party for my sewing group. Come on. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and click modify. Have you met me? <laughs> so, Hello, Selena. Somebody yeah. just asked, this is a good question. Can you create a group without a firm booking? Yes. The answer yes. to that is yes. Yes, absolutely. you definitely can. It's it's a re really great um, way to hone in and give yourself a focus um, on anything. Um, mm -hmm. Have a few different takeout space on different um, itineraries and send them out to your client list to make sure that they know all of the exclusive amenities that you're able to offer um, yep. with these group amenities, which... Um, how Dana um, mentioned earlier that our group pricing now includes the Princess Plus amenities. So you'd all be able to offer all of those um, Princess Plus amenities, Wi-Fi, Premier Drink Package and Crew Incentive, plus your group amenities. Yeah. Like John's so that's that way to market yourself and make yourself differentiated out there that you've picked those, that voyage or voyages, and that yeah. gives you that opportunity to kind of lead them towards that based on the extra value that's offered. So TJ's question, bulk deposit is required if I book over 16 births or 16 cabins? Um, 16 births. Births. Eight cabins. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so now I'm in the modified state. If you could see here, the whole group is now open to me modified. So not just the group amenity section. Um, I'm going to bounce back. I'm so sorry I'm bouncing you guys everywhere. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick to the left column now. Um, and I'll go back to the amenities in just a moment. Um, the affinity type, now this is an area that you do have to select before you um, confirm your group. Um, 
and you can go down and you can select the type of group that you're booking. If you aren't sure what affinity means, you can click this orange um, question mark right here and a pop up will show which will just give you um, just an explanation of what these different types of groups mean. Um, in this case, it's John Sewing Group, so we know it's a club or organization. You can put it um, just as your business or no affinity. It's something just has to be selected when you're going through and holding your group space. Okay, so I'm going to leave it at club and organization. If I want to automatically cross-reference my bookings, um, as you're making individual bookings, if you want them to be cross-referenced um, for easier access and just show that there are traveling together, you can just click yes. And then as you're making bookings on this particular voyage, the bookings will automatically be cross-referenced. You don't have to do anything extra to do that. Um, Multi-agency, um, this is basically if you're um, a headquarter office, if you have ranch offices that are set up and established in our system, you can change it to yes so that your branch office offices have um, access to the groups that you're making. Okay. Cancel group, you know, I tell people, you don't necessarily ever need to cancel your group, even if you don't end up booking into it and we end up recalling the space, because like I had mentioned, we do recall space as you get closer to the sailing, if you're not booking into it. Um, yeah. And at some point, you know, at the final recall date, if we take all your group space back, but let's say very close to sailing, someone comes in, they happen to want to book on that voyage that you had blocked space on a year ago, you would still have your amenities that you're able to um, tap into because you never canceled the group. It just stayed active. Even if you have no group space, you can still get those amenities if you had originally held group space and didn't cancel that group. Yeah. When you book a group, do you put in the host agency phone number? Thanks, Maria. So when you're making your um, bookings um, in Polar Online, you're going to log in on onesourcecruises.com. So whatever your profile is or whatever host agency that you're a part of, chances are your um, login has been registered under your, um, your host agency's um, profile. So you wouldn't put in any phone number because you're, you're logged in on OneSource and whatever agency that you're associated with on your login that's where your group would be made under. So Marge has a good question. Can we go to Marge's question? Can we create our own group? So should we book within our host agency's group if available? Well, I would, Danny, you, I, I, what I would say is it depends on the host. Um, you can take out your own group space if they have directives that they want everyone to book through theirs. I mean, that's different. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's probably based on the agency that you're booking through. Yeah. Everyone agree? Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Um, okay. So um, I'm going to say again on this left column. So, e so I'm going to scroll down and now we're in email and fax reports. This is fantastic if you want to now send yourself a confirmation and you can do this at any time just by clicking on modify. Okay. You can update your um, email address there, put in a fax number if you still have fax one. number. I, I mean, <laughs> what, the, the carrier pigeons aren't available. <laughs> well, if they were, that would be kind of cool. Faxing yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you can drop that you can click the drop down and it'll show you the different types of confirmations that you're able to send yourself so this is something that's just so easy and quick to do and mm -hmm. many people call in um, for confirmations on bookings um, or even on your groups and you just don't need to it's so easy to click and to um, then show um, which or select the different type of confirmation that you want to send yourself and it's done I, I don't even think this would take a minute to do Okay, so scrolling down, it was document delivery. We all know they're electronic now. I do remember when we used to get paper. I still have Selena, to. let me just ask, are you seeing questions that they come up on the screen that Joe's adding, or are you only seeing your screen? I'm only seeing my screen. Okay, so when Joe puts up the question, uh, I'll interject. I've done a couple of them, but I'll, I'll keep interjecting as the questions okay. come up. There's some good questions coming in. So you tell me when is a good time to interject a few questions. Um, you can cut me off, that's fine, either way. If they're <laughs> story of your life. Joe, go ahead and throw that last question up there. Can you go back and change previous bookings to a group if there's the potential of adding additional cabins? Yes. So I'm um, meaning um, that they can add in additional space. Yes, they can. They can um, add in additional space um, in your group allotment. Um, 
or you can book outside of your group space. Um, so let's say you only held balconies in your group allotment and now you have someone coming to you and they wanna book an inside cabin, but you didn't have any inside space. That doesn't matter. You can book outside of your um, group allotment. Most of our promotions are combinable with groups. Um, so you can book it in, in just general availability. You can do that even after you've booked all your group space and if you just have more people coming and, in. And you still get the amenity attached or amenities. Yes. Just as long as the promotions combinable, which most of them are combinable. Yeah. It's a good way to layer things. Yeah. And uh, Carol asks, uh, no, we'll do Russ's first. If I have clients within the group who don't want the Princess Plus fare, can they mm. book without the amenities? There was a, another question about Princess Savers as well. So this is good. Um, yeah. So, yeah. So Princess Savers is combinable with groups, of course. So if you do have a client that just doesn't, they prefer to book the lower Princess Savers fairs. Yes. Yeah. You can book them into the Princess Savers fair of the group. Uh, if your group's already been made, the group number will auto attach to that individual booking that you're making under Princess Savers. Um, and it'll go right into your group. Cool. Incredible. Else, around, too, Selena. Mm -hmm. If somebody has, let's say, they didn't take group space out on a certain sailing and suddenly they realize they're getting three, four or five cabins booked on a specific departure. They can go ahead and create a group at that time and then add those bookings into that group. Correct. Yes, yeah. that is correct. But that's the point when we want to make, make sure to block your space right yeah. away. Because if you have um, started making bookings, I don't know, a year and a half ago, and then you decide oh. you want to hold group space three months before sailing, Yep. chances are there might not be group space available. So you exactly. wouldn't at that point be able to hold any space and you wouldn't be able to qualify for the tour conductor and, or get any amenities. So block yeah. your, your group space early. Okay, and now speaking of tour conductor, so here you'll see um, tour conductor or TC ratio. Um, you can use amenity points to change um, that ratio. So that's why there's this drop down here if you want to use um, your group amenities to lower that TC. If, you, if you've used all of your amenity points, and in this case I have, and I know that because it says zero next to amenity points remaining, um, it'll give you an error message. And um, so you won't be able to add amenities or make any types of changes if you don't have any amenities left here. Um, also, huge thing, make sure that you assign your amenities before the date listed on your contract. So in yeah. this case, it's January 2nd. If you don't assign your amenities by the date listed on your contract, you lose them. We don't want that to happen to you. So make sure you assign your points when you're making your group or just mm -hmm. don't forget to do it before that finalization date. And if you if you make if you assign the points while you're making the group, you can change them down the road. You just want to have them assigned prior to that cutoff date. So you right. don't lose that for sure. Yes. Perfect. So here, auto um, auto add prepay gratuity. So we don't need to do that anymore um, be, with our um, Princess Plus amenities being just now rolled into our group pricing, our group promotions. Um, you no longer need to do that because our crew incentives now included in those in those fares. Um, let's see. Okay, so now recall dates. So now recall dates you can extend. Um, the first and second recall. I'm gonna go ahead and extend the first recall so you can see what happens. The, the group refreshes um, and it'll sh it'll just remove the option to extend that first recall any further. So it, the same thing would happen if I extended the second recall. The last recall date, um, you cannot extend, okay? So the recall dates, what that is, is just as you get closer to sailing, if um, space isn't being sold or if a certain percentage of the space isn't sold, then Princess basically um, has recall dates, so we take back some of the space um, or all, depending on the situation, uh, your, your particular group situation and how much you've actually booked into it. So Sue had asked, when do we actually recall the space? Is there a specific, oh, perfect. Is there a specific timeline number of days? There is. Dana, do you know? I, I don't remember. Hard-hitting questions. That one's a good one. <laughs> I Sorry. I always looked at the contract. I cheated. I don't know off the top of my head exactly what the time frame is, um, but I always paid close attention to that on the contract when I got that. And do we send a out. warning? Sorry? Before we do the recall, do we send a warning email that, hey, we're about to recall space? If it's your first recall, I don't believe we do. Okay. No. It's the final recall that we do. Yeah, yeah. the second one, but the first one, I don't believe that okay. we do. So Carol asked, and this is relevant to what you had to hit a glitch in the beginning because you, Selena, have taken off too many groups. So Carol's asking, is there a maximum number of groups a center can open? 
Yes. So depending on um, your agency, I know that um, our top accounts, so we want everyone to strive to get to our top accounts, which would be our premier strategic accounts. Um, you, they can hold up to 24 groups um, per month. Am, am I, I'm correct, right, Dana? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And then um, other agencies that are non-strategic. So um, I don't know, Dana, if you want to explain. So if, if you're a uh, um, premier account, you have at least $500,000 in sales revenue. So mm -hmm. everyone strive to get there. And then um, if you were a strategic partner, um, you would then um, be having a sales revenue of at least a million or more. And those are the accounts that can take out um, yep. more groups with us per month. Yep. Correct. Correct. What if the price, this is from Karen, what if the price for the booked group space is higher than the FIT rate? Can you book FIT and move it into your group? You definitely can, yes. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. um, then uh, I think it's Ina or Ina, I think it's mm -hmm. Ina Shrevenko is asking, uh, if I don't have any more space in the group, I understand I can add a cabin, but will I be able to get the same price as of the group? Good question. So with that, um, your group contract is built under a specific promotion code. Um, and that promotion code um, for the group it, in general, I've never seen it um, change. So if you're just adding space into the existing group um, and it's your group promotion that, that you're booking into, um, the rate wouldn't change because that's the rate you've locked in for your group. But you she's saying she doesn't have any more space in the group. So she's filled yeah. the space that she could firm, but she's now just booking cabins in. So is it oh. the going rate that she then books at that price, yeah. I assume? Yeah. So if you're not adding to your allotment and you're just booking individual bookings now and just moving those into your group, the rate may be different. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So um, bulk deposit amounts, now this goes back to when I mentioned that um, you'd have to pay a bulk deposit if you hold a certain number of cabins. So in this case, it was more than 16 beds. Um, and then it will show me how much the bulk deposit amount that is due and when it is due by. And then it'll also list below that um, the voyage final payment date. Um, now to go back to the very beginning, I'm gonna click group options. Um, anybody remembers from this part, like if you look down here, make sure, like I said, just make sure your um, window's completely open so you can see all of these buttons here. To modify the group, which is what we were doing, you can click modify here at the bottom in blue or the two, or the um, modify button here and under group amenities or the modify button here under email. So you can get to modify a group um, a few different ways when you're on this page. If you wanna to go to look at your financial totals, now this is um, a screen which will just give you um, the total number, not a breakdown of your group fares, any packages that you might have, your vac um, princess vacation protection totals, um, your total group net rates, et cetera. So this is just a very high level overview of all of your group um, accounting um, or financial details. Um, if you've added a um, group meeting or a cocktail party or something like that that you're paying for or your clients are paying for, um, if there's any charges associated with that, you'd see it here at the top right-hand um, box. Group onboard gifts, that's just, let's say, if you've given everyone, um, you've used all of your amenity points for onboard credit, but then you'd like to also send them a bottle of wine or chocolate dip strawberries, and you're paying for that out of pocket, you'd see those totals here. Tour conductor, now this gets updated um, as you reach new um your your tour conductor or get closer to earning a tour conductor and it'll show you here how many tour conductors you've earned and i want to make sure to mention that we have no limit so the sky is the limit you can um book 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 and we don't cap you on how many t um, tour conductors you can earn that's a big deal and very generous in my experience when I was an agent, that's a really generous yeah. offer that there's no cap on that. Selena, there's a question that came through from Facebook uh, mm -hmm. from Carla is asking, where do you get the amenity points? Where do you get them? So you mean where to locate them on the screen? You would look under here under um, group amenities. If you want to see what the choices are, what those options are, um, after you click on modify, there's a link here um, that you could, where it says view amenity codes, you'd click okay. on that um, circle, orange question. Selena, do you have all the amenity codes memorized? <laughs> Many, most uh, most of them. <laughs> yeah. Total, I, yeah. I, don't nerd. Total. I love it, I love it. Selena, so my thing on that is where do you get the amenity points? I wonder if what Carla is asking is 
where does she get them on the group booking? So when you're actually looking at the different sailings in Polar, it actually tells you if there's any points available on that particular sailing. And then also here, the screen you're on where you can see you've already used your amenity points, it would show right in that area if you had not assigned them yet, how many you had for that group. Mm -hmm. And it'll show you here, your so the LG1, just so fun fact that's the group promotion code and then gs3 that's the that's the promotion code we use for onboard credit okay. but if you have any questions click on that little yeah. circle so financial history that that button um, you'll be taken to just a run through of all the full financial details for your group so if you made um a check or credit card payment for your bulk deposit if you've um, made final payments on various bookings so it's a nice overview and, that, and a lot of people don't know about the screen or you don't spend time there, but take a look at it. If you have a group already made, go to the screen and take a look um, um, to see what you can see here. So you have more of a view on what's going on in terms of um, financial history on your group. Right. Um, if you want to display your allotments, you click there and it'll just show you the different categories that you have blocked in your group and what's been sold, what you still have available. I'm going to click back. It'll take me back to the screen and then um, group pricing detail. This will give you a per person double breakdown. It'll give you a single cruise fare and then a third and fourth. I want to make sure to mention because we do have a third and fourth rate listed here. However, when you block your group space, you're blocking cabins um, that would just in general accommodate up to two um, cabins that it can accommodate three or four um, are not blocked in your general availability. Um, of your when you're going through and picking your space so third and um, cabins that can accommodate um, triples and quads are based on availability but we give you at least um, a cost of what that would be if you if we have that available Selena a couple questions coming in first from Sherry what if the group you're searching for does not show the correct voyage for example a 21 day cruise but polar only pulls up a 14 day hmm. it's probably um, a segment or a logical like where we've added or we've put mm. two cruises back to back and we've made one voyage one longer voyage or we've taken a segment of a longer cruise and made a separate voyage um so it could just be a search issue um you would um probably need to click to chat for them to either give you the voyage number for the voyage that you're actually looking for and then um our chat representatives can walk yeah. you through on how to get to the right voyage you're actually looking for and Marsha, who's behind the scenes, and thanks, Marsha, for doing what you're doing. Marsha's nagging me from behind the scenes. She's uh -huh. making sure to mention that the the later you book, um, uh, that you take out your group, the more amenity points you get. True or false? Uh, no, that's false. Yeah, going to mention earlier. I'm going to go back to what I said earlier. Take yeah. out your groups the minute the program is announced. That way you will get the maximum amenity points. If you wait three or four months, it might have been six points originally, and now it's down to four, sometimes yeah. two. So take those groups out right away to get the best, the guest, to get the best amenity points for your right. group. So that maximizes them. There's a Absolutely. pricing question. Thanks for bringing um, this one in, uh, Joe. So this is from Sue. Can you reprice mm -hmm. your group if the prices drop? Will all of the bookings in the group be repriced to reflect the lower price? Okay, so no. So your, your blocked allotment, like what we're looking at, for example, these are the group rates. If there's a new promotion that comes out and is available um, for individual bookings, um, you can refair the bookings that you've already made that are in your group. You can refair them to the new lower promotion and they would go right back into your um, group just as long as they're not for new bookings only. Um, you can refair them. And then just as long as the promotion, that's the newer lower promotion is combinable with groups. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Uh, it, uh, Ina is asking again, is the TA rate booked cabin can be, if a TA rate book cabin can be added to the group? It cannot. No. Good, good question. Unfortunately, the answer is no. Because yeah. it's they're just not eligible because of the discount price, not able to get those extra amenities. Right. Um, what else did we miss any other questions? So Natalie's asking if I show an allotment, but there's no availability on a sailing, can I continue selling the space? Um, if there's space on the voyage, you can book outside of your allotment. Um, like I said, most of our promotions are combinable with groups. So what that just means is, is if you have no more space in your group, you can book into general availability and those bookings would um, go right into your group, get the group amenities and count towards your TC. 
Selena, can you touch on, I think it's an interesting point about the, the group limits and how many groups you can take out. So let's say you're part of an agency that gets 24 groups a month and that agency headquarter has opened up those 24 groups. As an individual advisor working for that agency, can you open then your own groups versus you have to book into the 24 that your agency headquarter has opened? So um, if you're booking through a host or a headquarter office and they yep. have taken out spec space or maybe yep. just even other travel advisors have taken out all the space, um, there is a cap. So no, in those cases, um, we wouldn't be able to um, take out um, yeah. an actual group. I, I have had some of not, it, that doesn't happen in all in my experience. It doesn't happen very often. Um, but if it does by any chance, um, I mean, we can always look back at the other groups to see if what's yeah. going on with them and see what we can do to try to assist with that situation. And I'm, I'm assuming that your agency uh, manager, a headquarter office, whoever's overseeing groups for that is going to communicate and, and make sure it's clear where the group space has been open. So obviously you need to work with your agency management to coordinate that. And if you see that the groups haven't been open, go ping them to say, hey, let's make sure we open up our space because we want to book group. Right. Okay, so um, we'll go ahead. So I went over the um, group rates. Underneath that, you'll see commission. It'll just show you what your commissions are um, or the percentages and then other charges, just okay. what the per person charges for taxes and transfers and things like that. And then the passenger deposit that would be due. Okay. Okay, go back. Selena, I just want to be mindful of time. We're at 11.51 now, California time. How much, how much longer do you have to talk about this stuff, Selena? <laughs> I just actually just a screen. So um, I want to show you here all of the different cabins that we have booked into this um, group. Um, you can select them, um, look at the individual booking to modify, manage them, etc. If you want to look at payment information for each individual booking, we have a button here that you can do that. Um, and I think that's um, you can book now. I want to point that out. You can when you're in your group, you can click book now and it'll just take you right into the booking process. And then if you have just more questions on group policies and procedures, you can click right here where um, the last button that says group bookings um, information. Last specific question for this. Cynthia is asking, if someone wants to have three persons in their cabin, will the group allotment page show that? Um, you would be looking at um, the group allotment will not update to show that you're um, blocking a triple or quad cabin, when you're making the individual booking, that's at, it's at that point that you would search to see if we have triple or quads available. And hopefully we do. You don't have a problem with that. Um, you can go ahead and just book that triple or quad and then it'll be um, brought into yeah. your group. And then that would show if you clicked on the booking list, correct? Once you had that booking in there, you could go to the booking list and then oh, yeah. specific booking and it would take you into the triple. Right. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I did learn something today, Selena and Dana, so thank you. Uh, it's hard for me to learn anything because my skull is so thick, uh, but I really appreciate the detail and uh, what great questions. I yes. mean, you guys are really engaged out there and you can tell that uh, you know a little bit about it and you're just taking your game to the next level, which is awesome. Um, so let's run through a couple of last minute slides here. We, we can all stay, uh, you know, talk about chat. I think it's so important and you all have done such an amazing job using the chat feature because we are experiencing long hold times. I'll tell you right now, and I want to encourage you uh, to not spend your time on the phone. Uh, get into chat. It's open seven days a week, 6 a.m., 6 p.m., 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Pacific. Uh, this is for Polar Online chat. This is where most of your chat is going to be anything related to a booking. Um, thank you, Allison. And because we can really um, help you with pretty much anything you would want, except for if you have to escalate an issue, which, by the way, when I say escalation, I mean if you've got an ocean ready, dine my way question, I'm sorry you have to call in because that's where we have teams that have been trained to help you and you, or your clients walk through and get um, your problem solved or if you have an easier. But other than that, chat is the way to go. So please don't spend your time on hold. Use chat. Uh, chat first, I say, and call second. So that's uh, we appreciate your help. And you've gotten so much better at that. So thank you. Let's continue that. Um, and want to say as well um, that, you know, we mentioned Princess Plus earlier, uh, Selena and Dana were talking about that and the value there. I'm just going to remind you, you guys all know this, you're black belts in Princess Plus. You do a great job selling it. But if you bought those three things separately, the premier beverage package with the bar service charges, the unlimited Wi-Fi with medallion net and the daily crew incentive, formerly known as gratuities, bought all those, walked on board, honey, let's go buy those three things, $95 per person per day. 
he bought it through Princess Plus, only $40 per person per day. So almost a 60% savings. And totally my idea, it's commissionable to you. So it makes the fair price even greater. But listen, it's not about price. It's not about getting more commission. And it is that. It's helpful for your business, obviously. But the best value, I tell this to my friends and family, is go buy Princess Plus because you get such a great discount. And it's all about that value. Princess Military Benefit always available uh, best in the industry near and dear to my heart as my dad was in the navy up to 250 dollars in onboard credit so please make sure your clients who have served are registered and once they're registered in polar uh they are always going to get that benefit and it's combinable so uh pretty cool princess partners really this is what it's all about this is why we took the time today and you took the time today to come uh, and learn and listen this is one of the many things that we're offering you as we want to continue our great partnership with all of you travel advisors we really appreciate and we're so excited that we're getting back to see this past year and a half has been interesting uh, but we are getting through it we appreciate your resiliency in staying through and and continuing to learn and the fact you're all here today uh, improving your education says everything if you're not already following me on facebook why not go search for princess vp sales don't search for my name because when they fire me they want to keep the account going uh, you'll find some fun tips there and some great videos and training and what have you so Thank you so much, everybody. Uh, we appreciate, we already did questions. Oh no, we have questions now, sorry. We have four minutes for questions. Uh, we're gonna do a survey as well. What did you learn? So go into Facebook, you'll see the survey coming up uh, and we'll just see, did, you, did we improve what we knew before we started this session? Uh, the pre-submitted questions are, first one up, can you create groups that include land tours in Alaska? I'm pretty sure you covered that, that there is the cruise tour option. So I think the answer to that is yes. Yes. We covered that. How do we book group shore excursions? Um, and we're working through, I know we talked a little bit about that earlier. So as we come out of the uh, pandemic and our teams have been affected here, we're working through what those resources are and availability there. But there is some contact information, you email them and they, depending on their avail availability, will be able to support you uh, and your clients. So we're working through what that team's gonna look like post pandemic. If I don't sell all my group space, do I lose group benefits? So we learned that you keep your amenities that are attached to that group, even if you don't maximize the group that you expect. If someone books outside of my group, can I, how can I move it into my group? I think you cover that, Selena, how you attach the booking back to the group. Yeah, so you just go into your, you manage your booking and you go um, to pricing details and you just add the group number and that's it. Cool. What is the advantage of booking groups? Okay. I think we covered that. I mean, we've got the amenities that we talked about. We've got yes. the TC, the tour conductor. So you earn more on the back end. Um, what else am I missing? Those are the two biggies that jumped to my mind. You look like a rock star to your clients because you're yeah. offering them things that they can't get elsewhere. Yeah. Um, are tour conductor credits given in addition to amenity points? Yeah, if you've earned them. Mm -hmm. yes. Right. So you got to sell up to the uh, amount, the max amount, and you get. And then, as Selena said you just keep earning. So once you've sold and you've earned that first TC, then you can continue, right? And maximize that. Mm -hmm. Is there an easy way to reach an ocean navigator to resolve issues? So you need to call in, call 100 Princess and let them know you're, you're needing assistance um, with the Medani class app and they will do what they can to help you. And if they can't help you, they will escalate to uh, a team that's been specially trained. Um, but the, all the teams have been trained. It's just a level issue in terms of how much uh, that individual knows, but there is a crack team available to solve uh, any issues you might have. And I think that's the last question. What about the survey results? What did we learn? Do we have those? Oh, can you book short back-to-back -back cruises prior to November 1st? So we are allowing uh, right now only out of Los Angeles and San Francisco, are you able to book back-to-back uh, -back cruising? Not out of Seattle, and not yet out of Fort Lauderdale. So I would say Seattle's not gonna change. Uh, I think Fort Lauderdale is a question and all that's kind of going on in Florida and the review there with uh, the governor and the CDC. So I think we're just holding tight for that to be resolved before we make any changes. But right now you can do that for LA and San Francisco. Mm -hmm. Poll results, here we go. 24% of genius. Yeah, I do remember yeah. 8% was the original yeah. number. Uh, so that's really great. 67% solid, 10% basic, 0% deer in the headlights. Uh, thank you. So that's <laughs> awesome. Great job, Selena and Dana. You did a wonderful job um, walking through and, and training 
even somebody like me learned something. <laughs> so thank you so much, everyone, for connecting with us today. We appreciate you spending an hour of your day. Uh, it's really meaningful to us that you're willing to invest and to learn more. We really appreciate it. Dana, Selena, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you everybody. All right. Stay tuned for more updates. We'll talk to you all soon. Hang in there and take care. Be well.